Out of all four of these shots, the iPhone XS comes off as the most washed out. There's just a haze throughout the entire picture that makes it unappealing. The OnePlus 6 has a little bit of that haze too on the upper right where the street lamp shines, but contains itself there. Out of all four of these shots, the cardinal sign retains its yellow color better on the OnePlus 6 than the others. The Galaxy S9 Plus has much better clarity than the other two, but it overexposes the cardinal sign, turning that yellow almost white, and turning the black lettering below it almost gray. And while the Pixel 2 XL blows out the street lamp, that's really the only place it faults. The cardinal sign has a good balance of color, with the best representation of black lettering and great clarity almost throughout. At 100% crop, you can get a better sense of the blown out yellow sign on the S9 Plus, versus the better exposed ones on the OnePlus 6 and Pixel 2 XL. With that being said, the Pixel 2 XL is my favorite out of this set. Despite having the darkest shot of the bunch, the OnePlus 6 is really the only one here that doesn't blow out the 8519 on the sign. The Pixel 2 XL and iPhone XS aren't bad, but the Galaxy S9 Plus completely blows it out, so much so that it's even starting to overexpose part of the furniture sign above it. Other than that, the detail on all four is pretty solid. This is a personal preference thing that I've mentioned before, but I don't care for the yellow hue the Pixel 2 XL exhibits on an otherwise off-white structure. Like, I get you want to brighten up the shot, but not if it's going to cast that god-awful yellow. I much prefer the color temperature on the iPhone XS here, and if it wasn't for the overexposed 8519, it'd probably be my pick. But the OnePlus 6 wins it for me. It might be the darker shot, but I feel like the exposure is well balanced for a night shot. All four of these shots came out great. The differences really lie in the software processing here, so this might be more of a personal preference thing. I will say the iPhone XS comes off looking really flat. It's like they've almost desaturated the colors in a way, and it's just not working for me. In real life while I was shooting, there were bright yellow orange lights casting the left side of the building, and bright white lights facing the front that for some reason are coming off really blue on the Pixel 2 XL. This was a toss up between the S9 Plus and OnePlus 6 for me, but the S9 Plus was just a tad brighter than it needed to be for me personally, and I really like the darker shadows the OnePlus 6 casted off the building. Right off the bat, the Pixel 2 XL's magenta is not true to color anywhere in this picture, so that's that. The Galaxy S9 Plus overexposes again. Look at the sign on the window. Hell, look at the inside of the store. It's like if you were going to walk in there at night, you'd be... This is a toss-up for me between the OnePlus 6 and the iPhone XS because both are fairly color accurate with a good balance of exposure. On one hand, I think the OnePlus 6 is truer to color, but I like that the iPhone XS turns down the warmth and doesn't cast such an orange hue here. I think both are the best out of the set, but I'm going with the iPhone XS here. In this set of shots, the S9 Plus comes off casting really yellow which is actually surprising because it wasn't for the Pixel 2 XL. The iPhone XS looks really soft compared to the others, and if you look at the black underneath the Revolution Brewing logo, you can see it's not as deep as the rest. At 100% crop, the OnePlus 6 and Pixel 2 XL have the best white balance, but the OnePlus 6 produces a better, truer red, where the Pixel 2 XL leans slightly orange. But not as orange as the S9 Plus or iPhone XS. The OnePlus 6 again gets my vote here. And again, the S9 Plus is shooting really bright, but nothing's overexposed here. If you prefer a brighter shot, this one came out pretty good. The Pixel 2 XL follows suit with brightness, but it's accompanied by noise in the night sky. The OnePlus 6 and iPhone XS are a toss-up for me with its better exposure. If I had to pick only one, it's gonna go to the OnePlus 6. It's so similar to the iPhone XS, but if I'm gonna nitpick, the OnePlus 6 has better noise control here.
In really difficult lighting, you'll see the iPhone XS suffer the most. There's just noise all throughout this shot. The Pixel 2 XL does a better job, but there's a good amount of noise in the sky too. The OnePlus 6 is a good mix between the two. Not as noisy, but not as bright, which ends up losing a lot in the shadows, which leaves the Galaxy S9 Plus taking the best quality picture in terms of brightness and clarity in the most difficult of lighting. <laughs> And in this last set of shots starring yours truly, the OnePlus 6 ended up shooting too bright, giving me an unnatural skin tone. At first glance I thought the iPhone XS did pretty well overall, but then I looked at my shirt and noticed how smooth it was. Then I looked at my shorts and it was the same thing, like the creases were gone, like it's some smoothing effect the iPhone XS is doing that's removing shadows. So while it may be more flattering, it's not accurate here. The Galaxy S9 Plus and Pixel 2 XL I felt did the best job, but I'm giving it to the S9 Plus for keeping a more natural skin tone. You can also see how the brightness is pumped up on the Pixel 2 XL by just looking at the brick wall next to me. All four of these phones are capable shooters at night, but your mileage may vary since all shoot with their own characteristics. The S9 Plus tends to shoot a lot brighter than its competition, but you can count on its clarity in coming up top in really difficult lighting scenarios. The OnePlus 6 really surprised me with its results, especially against higher priced phones, although that sentiment might not last long if OnePlus keeps raising their prices, but for the OnePlus 6, it keeps up or out paces a competition, and that's something to brag about. The Pixel 2 XL may be the camera to beat when the sun's out, but at night, its yellowish hues and extra noise makes it hard for me to be the camera phone I carry when the sun sets. The iPhone XS has really stepped up its camera when compared to the iPhone X. If you haven't seen that video, I'll throw a card up, but at times I'm seeing shadow loss and flat colors. I'll definitely need more time with it to make a better conclusion, but it's no slouch, and it should hang with the rest of the competition. Well. Of course it should, it's a fucking thousand dollar phone.